on the bound for the San Diego Padres is Sean Manaya. 30 year old making his 21st start. He's yet to face the Giants here at Petco Park. Combined though, he's 0 and 1, a 4 5 ERA with opponents hitting 209. Overall, 247 batting average against for Sean Manaya. Pitch to Flores, swung on and missed. Made very quick work of him and gets him to go after a changeup. For his first strikeout, two quick outs here at the top of the first inning. What he's doing differently, he experimented a little bit with the split. The Giants right hander, he's had a really good first year with the Giants, Jacob Junis. Yeah, 29 year old right hander coming off for his 11th start. Had a little bit of a rough one last time, just worked three and two thirds innings last Thursday against the Dodgers. One out, one on, and Manny Machado coming up. 290, 20 homers, and 63 runs batted in. Runner goes, and a line drive down the left field line. That is a fair ball. That'll jump up over the wall. Rule book double. And we'll see where they're going to put there. They're going to send Soto back. They are. He's going to be headed back to third base. It'll be second and third with one out. You know, I know that's the rule, but you know, that's one. I think he scores. I, I absolutely. Really do. And you know, Donnie, this is, if I'm commissioner, this is one of those, and this is why fewer than two outs, or even, you know, anytime really, if there's a ball hit like that, okay, I, I think that the umpires can look at some replay or have somebody look at where he was when that ball got to the wall out over the wall, right? Right. Because he has some discretion as yeah. to where to put him. Two down, second and third. And here is Brandon Drury, DHing again today. 266 with 21 home runs, 65 runs batted in. Now, a swing and a miss. He struck him out with a sharp slider, breaking down and away, and the inning is over. The Padres with a great threat, but they do not score. JD was a rough at bat in the ninth inning yesterday. Two and two pitch. Swing, and there's a high drive to right. Going back is Soto at the warning track. He turns, he looks up. Goodbye! Over the right field wall and well back over the wall. And the third home run for J.D. Davis as a Giant. One to nothing, Giants in the second inning. In his 21st official at bat as a Giant, he has hit his third home run. Davis with the Mets had four homers in 181 official. Austin Slater, Slater flied out to center field in his first at bat. Two on, nobody out. Slater, a little soft liner to right. And it's going to get down for a base hit. And then it skips by Soto. Wins coming around third. He'll score Gonzalez, and they're going to send him. The relay is going to be late. Gonzalez scores standing all the way over to third. Slater, it's 3-0 Giants. Well, it went from a mess. Gonzalez was hung out in between first and second. Did not read that as a hit. And then it turned into... A huge play for the Giants. Yeah, that got weird real fast. 2 2 changeup, flips it out. Soto tries to pick it, unable to do so. Ends up going, having to track it down. But with Gonzalez's speed, you had mentioned he's able to get off the bag. Slater at third, nobody out, infield in. Wilmer hits one out towards right center field, and that one's going to get down. Another soft line drive hit. Slater will score. 4 0. The value of putting the ball in play. That's it. Got to put it in play, but Wilmer has been swinging a hot bat, real confident out there. 2 0 slider, and he's able to serve it out in the right field. Well done, Wilmer. The base is loaded, and another guy you don't want to see in this spot, Manny Machado, coming to the plate. Come on, baby. To left, and Gonzalez isn't going to get that. It gets down. Nola will score. Profar will score. To third goes Soto. Two runs in for the Friars. Manny Machado back to driving in runs. What do you guys got on our little celebration? A little night at the Roxbury? I like it. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. You, me, you? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it's the soft stuff to Manny Machado. We know the trouble that can cause, especially when it's in the zone. Manny goes out and gets it. It's been a double-double afternoon for Manny up to this point. There it is. We got you doing the uh, celly <laughs> right now. On video, that's good stuff. That's great. As this hey. is lined into left field, a base hit for Drury. Soto will score, and it's a one run game. So a three run third inning to this point for the Friars. It's now four to three, Giants. We got something going here, boys. Yeah, Drury. See, see, Zilla's over here saying, I'll be passing on the juju for the runs. That boy, so. <laughs> Drury fought that one off. That ball had some run. There is still nobody out. The Padres have the base is loaded. Ground through. ball yeah. through into right field. 
Machado will score. And this game is tied four to four. The four run deficit's been erased. The boys are buzzing. <laughs> How's it up in the booth, guys? It's warm down here. Oh boy, Manny. Not as hot as the Padres bats this inning, right. Joe. That is right. Just out of the reach of Flores. Tied up now, four to four. We have the bases reloaded for the Padres with Bell at third. Brewery at second, Cronenworth at first, and now Trent Grisham, the second AB of the game, struck out swinging in the second inning. Line to right field, a base hit. Josh Bell will score, and the Padres take a 5 4 lead. Trent Grisham driving in the go ahead run. That's the merry go round inning. One on, one off. Keep it going. Pass it on to the next guy. And just like that, Padres have the lead. There's a breaking ball. Lefty on lefty. Up. Pull side. 0 oh 2. Here's the pitch. And Nola swings. It's a ground ball softly to the left side. Davis has it at third to second for one. Flores turn. Not in time. A little bit clunky around the bag at second base. And a run comes in. Six to four Padres. Now Tyro Estrada. Padres are going to leave the infield back. Great chance to get the game tied or who knows maybe more. Pop fly. Left field line. Profar on the run. Sliding. He's got it. Here comes Davis. He'll score as Machado cuts off the throw. Tyro Estrada gets the sacrifice fly. It's six to five Padres. Once again, Jerkson covering some serious ground out there in left field. That's a long run. Breaks it down, slide. He gets around out there. So the Giants have a run in here in the sixth. It's six to five. Austin wins, who grew up just maybe 25, 30 minutes north of here. Slow roller. And a wild throw. And here comes Yaz to tie the game. And wins ends up going to second. It took a while for Krismat to get to first base on the coverage. And that throw never quite reached him. Six to six. So Jock Peterson, and he has continued to hit the ball hard in this slump. Base hit to left field. Well, it's not as sexy as a home run, but it does the job to put the Giants back ahead seven to six. Where he has struck out swinging single to left scored a run. Line to left. That ball is back. That ball is gone. A three run home run for Brandon Drury. And the Padres take a 9 7 lead with one swing of the bat. Well the this is ironic because the first pitch that Brandon Drury saw in a Padre uniform was a slider and his grand slam. Well what do you know that's a slider in the zone. What do you know home run two down Cronenworth at first three runs in for the Padres that is four straight hits with two outs in the inning for San Diego and now ha Sung Kim line towards the gap in right center field that's going to get down to the track of the wall Cronenworth making his way around the bases. Throw is cut off and the Padres take a 10 7 lead. Ha Sung Kim with a gapper to right center. What about that hanging slider? That's beautiful. Takes it the opposite way. Ground ball by the mound out towards second. Flores throws on the run and it is not in time. Trying to score is Kim. He will. Padres take an 11 7 lead. Great hustle right there. Little chopper, Grisham hustling, backside, Kim, keep it going. 11 7 Padres, a five run sixth inning as they have sent at least nine men to bat for the second time. In the air to deep left field for Nola when it comes down, it'll be gone. Padres take a 13 7 lead. Austin Nola didn't have a hit today, now he does. It's his third home run of the year. Into the game is Taylor Scott for the Padres here in the ninth. Yeah, a chance to throw up a zero, make it quick, and uh, end this one for the Padres. Fly ball, right center field. Grisham going back and over to make the catch. Padres win. And they take two out of three in this three game series against the Giants. And boy, the offense came alive last night and again today.